time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this review kind of started. haven't finished season 11 i know i have i'm not even halfway through i think i'm not <laughs> there's so many more seasons to watch and episodes but i've come to the conclusion so far that there is one character in this mahabharat so far that one person in the in the mahabharat stories that i think is the most tragic of them all that has it the hardest that's been treated the worst, like the most tragic one of them all. Can you guess who it is? Take a guess right now. Right now before I say anything, I want y'all to right now in the comments, and, and remember, I haven't seen the whole, I haven't seen the whole uh, series yet. I'm only on the season 11, or just finishing up the tail end of season 11. So take your guess who I think down below, who I think is the most tragic character in this. I'll give you time and then I'm gonna tell you my answer and see if you're right so guess right now don't wait till I say I don't know if everybody agrees but I'm gonna give my reasons for why I think this person is the most tragic y'all ready for it cunty are y'all surprised well let me explain because I feel like nothing goes in cunty's favor <laughs> I mean she did right in the beginning she got the boons and all that but just think of her life Ever she when she got her first boon, I know it was kind of her her accident, like it was done by her, but she had the karma, right? She had him accidentally shouldn't. Then she had to hide it. So she had to put her poor infant baby, young girl, isolated by herself, not even having a shoulder to cry on or get advice from. She had to make this decision on her own. Poor poor Karna down in the river to like just let her baby go. That's number one. I mean, if that's not one of the most tragic things and the hardest thing, that's gotta be. It's gotta be. She finally, Kunti, she's gonna be crowned, right? She's gonna be crowned like the queen. She's gonna marry Pandu. And he was the crown prince at that time, right? He was gonna be king at that time. Oh, wait, I think I'm So the second reason, the second thing. Now, I know you're like, well, Kunti, she was about to marry Pandu and he was the king. So she's going to be the queen. She's going to marry Pandu. She does. And, and that's a good, hu listen, she got, she got a good husband. She did Pandu, especially, the, you don't want to be that blind, that blind king's husband. No, she got the good husband. But as soon as they got married, they couldn't even have a wedding night together. He's off to war. So right now, her wedding night's supposed to be the best. The best day of her life so far and 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 her new husband and have a wedding night night together and and no oh, he's gone so there she is alone because then everybody leave like right doesn't bishma go with him and and i know the blind king goes with him to fight on all the wars so she's left in this kingdom by herself she has gandhari but still yeah. poor cunty she's she's over there she's excited her husband's coming home all pandu finally Finally, they can have like the wedding night and and all this and and she can be with her husband and have that time to get to know each other and, and together. So here comes Pandu with another wife. With another wife. She didn't even know about it. He has another wife who I guess he was spending time with. She never had time with her husband Pandu. But to here's the other wife she had time with. <sighs> Poor guy. And then what happens? She tr she accepts the the other wife, right? They they try to do stuff together. What Pandu's over there riding horses and with them and all this. And the other wife, she just young and 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 just like oh shoot that deer. And then he killed that sage on accident. Then they had to go and with him and exiled into the forest. But then on top of it, he has this thing so he can never you know, have relations with his wife. Well, good thing she has these boons to have the son. But I mean, you can't not now even have relations with your wife and you can't, you know, with your husband and you, or he'll die. 
so you're you're over here. Good thing you got your boons to and and she still even gives the other girl one of her boons to have the kid. We know Pandu dies, and not because even because he has relations with the other girl. That's why he dies. So it's like you're like Kunti, like she. So she's left there alone because he forgets and has these relations with the other girls. With and then she, the the one girl, she just what like she emoted herself or whatever, and now. Poor Cunty's here, left with all five of those boys by herself. Has to bring them back to the palace. And then they're treating her little boys terribly. Which is like, that's got to be the worst thing in your heart. They tried to kill her sunbeam. That you know, you know. I mean, can she not get a break? Can Cunty never get a break? And we know after that. They try to kill her with the suns and, and that wax castle or whatever. So she has to go into exile with them. They finally come back already. Like there's this whole thing. She she made the mistake, right? That she she's responsible for like the sons having a mar all married Drapati. I'm just like, Kunti never catches a break. And now on top of it, now on top, her only thing she makes her happy, you know, is her boys. I feel like that's what makes Kunti happy. And then on top of it, you are now stuck. What this mean old blind king won't let you go and be with your sons to live out your life. I don't know what happens in the future with her. But so far, it seems to me like she is one of the most tragic character, like people. And you know what I mean, tragic, like just can't catch a break. Just everything, like hardships are on her. All the hardships are on her. I hope in the rest of the seasons that things turn around for Kunti because I my heart breaks for her. It does. She needs some happiness in her life and I hope somehow she can find it and, and, and at least go live with her sons when they build up a kingdom and all that. So let me know what y'all think. I'm curious. I'm curious of y'all's thoughts too. Comments, thumbs, and all that down below. Until next time. Mwah.